You think you're tough, don't you, Ken? Huh? Well, here's your wake-up call. Excuse me. Uh, hi. Are you the guidance counselor? Have a seat. Okay, thanks. <sighs> Name's Ed Bacon. What's your name, son? Uh, John. John? John. Yeah, John. Oh. Let me just get out the John file. Oh. <laughs> John. Yeah, John. John. John St. John. John with no eight. What do you know? There's 200 freaking Johns in this school. <laughs> Maybe you're one of the lucky ones whose dad actually stuck around long enough to give him a last name. It's uh, Sanders. John Sanders. John Sanders. S A N D E R S. John Sanders with, with an S at both ends. Sanders. <laughs> Okay, Sanders, here we are. It's coming right up here. Take, take, take your time, you seem tense. I'm just fine. Okay. okay. John. All righty. Now, John, according to this, you've been spending a lot of time in art class there. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm uh, hoping to be a painter. Interesting. Yeah. What about the Marines, son? The Marines? I'm just suggesting that because you seem a little poofy to me. A little sweet in the pants, you know what I mean? Yep, i definitely say the Marines are for you, John. Make you tough. Take a shot at me. Come on! It'd be good for you, John. It'd be real good for you. All right, Mr. Bacon, you can spit on my dreams if you want to, but uh, I'm gonna show you and everybody. I, I, someday I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a painter. Well then. By all means, paint. Just paint your sissy little heart out. <laughs> Hell, I've just been doing this for 15 years. What do I know? Huh? I'm an idiot, right? I did. Get out of my son. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> and don't call me from the homeless shelter either! Everything all right? Uh, what's with John? I guess he just had a little bite from the big reality sandwich, and he started to choke on it. Who are you? Uh, Danita Clark, you sent for me. Right, Danita. I've been looking over your file. I see you've been studying ballet lessons for 14 years. That's right. I'm going to be a ballet dancer. I'm going to spend the summer in London studying at the Royal Academy. Mistake. Have a seat, Danita. <clears throat> I've taken a personal interest in your career. Now, why would you want to go all the way to London when you could pursue your dream right here in the States? How? As a stripper. <laughs> There's good money in stripping. I don't care. I'm going to be a ballet dancer. Wake up, Danita! You're not very pretty and you're not very smart. So you can thank your lucky stars that God gave you such a great rack. <laughs> it's your choice, Danita. Strip or starve. Mr. Baker! Now, now, Danita. I know this seems harsh, but I'm telling you now because in 10 years, those knockers of yours are going to be down around your ankles. <laughs> That's what happens with big ones like yours. It's a little law called gravity, Danita. Now, here's what I want you to do. Drop out of school immediately. Go see my friend Kenny at the Jug Shack. Address her on those matches. <laughs> yep. I can still make a difference. <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't Marlon Keene. You know, they used to say you couldn't score below 400 on the SAT. It's an honor to meet the man who proved them wrong. Nice to meet you, Mr. Bacon. He speaks! <laughs> oh, Marlon. It seems that even a cud-chewing cretin like yourself is entitled to work. So, why don't we pull out the old career skills manual and see what magnificent opportunities await somebody with your special needs. <laughs> now, let's see. Ah, here's one. Neck ringer at the slaughterhouse. 
You'd have to be smarter than the chickens to catch them. <laughs> Garbage man. That's like putting a kid in the candy store. Here we go. No skills, no brains required. And that would leave only one profession. It would uh, be... What does it say? Guidance counselor. <laughs> what? I can't hear you. Guidance counselor. Guidance counselor! <laughs> Thanks for your advice, Mr. Bacon. But I think I'll hold out and do something better. All right? <laughs>